Hi Taurus, it is Monday today, August 19th, 2024. And um, please put down the time that you're watching this reading so that um, when I'm looking through the comments, I can feel you, you, your energy stronger. And also, um, we have a request today um, from you guys for you to send out your prayers to Sam. Sam has crossed over to the other side. And so um, please send your prayers to Sam and give some comfort to Sam's family member um, members knowing you know that these prayers are going out to him as he crosses over to the other side. All right, let's look at your tarot cards. It's time to sit back, get a cup of coffee or a cup of tea, and take a moment for yourself so that you can um, see what's happening in your energy today, right now, at the time you're viewing this reading. Spirits, what does Taurus need to know right now at the time they're viewing this reading? And remember, you guys, as always, I try to tell you guys what a lot of the cards mean as I'm going through your reading so that next time you're watching, you can be like, oh, no, Jennifer, you know, in case I'm, um, you know, reading a little bit off of your particular story because these are general readings. So I want you guys to know the tarot. Okay, so I'm teaching you the tarot to... Okay, so the first card you have is the Four of Swords. The next card you have is Judgment. It looks like you need to make a final decision with Judgment. This is final decision time, Taurus. And then you have the Two of Swords. Yeah, see, there's that decision with the Two of Swords. Um... There's something here that you're thinking about cutting off out of your life. The Seven of Wands is in the center of your reading. And then you have the Queen of Wands. And the Knight of Cups. You have a lot of people here showing up in your energy. And the Seven of Swords. And you have the Chariot Cancer Energy. On the bottom of the deck, you have the Six of Cups and you have the Death card. Huh. There's someone here who's been in your life for quite some time with the Six of Cups. And it's time for either a change or to end things. We have the Death card, Scorpio, right here. There's someone here that you're thinking about. Tell me why the Four of Swords is here. Tell me about this Four of Swords. You have the Fool, Aries Energy, and you have the Seven of Cups, and the Page of Cups. I'm seeing you. You could be meditating a lot Taurus a lot of you guys are or um needing to rest needing a time to think with the four of swords you're laying on a bed here there's things going through your mind things about you painting a new picture with the with the page of cups wanting something new choosing something new in your imagination and then you have the fool and letting go of the past. This is a new journey in front of you with the fool. The next card you have is final judgment. And it, it really feels good to me, this final judgment, because it feels like uh, there's some type of 
thing that that you've wanted to change in your life and now I see you saying okay I'm gonna go for it with judgment showing up tell me why judgment is here okay so you have the hermit Virgo energy and the two of wands and you have temperance Sagittarius energy the devil and the five pentacles on the bottom of the deck. The devil is Capricorn energy. Uh, I'm seeing your final judgment is to look into the future. It's like with the hermit energy here, you're really wanting to get out of some type of sticky situation and to look ahead into the future and lay the past to its final resting place. But you could feel like I'm not sure how to do this with the Two of Swords. Why is the Two of Swords here? You have the Four of Pentacles and the Nine of Wands. Someone watching me right now, you don't have enough money. And so you're wondering, how am I going to do this? Your, your energy is showing me I'm fighting for this as the wounded warrior, the nine of wands here. But I'm holding back because I'm something here is holding you back. You're not really sure how to do and, you know, move forward, make this judgment call and to let something come to an end the next card you have is the queen of swords so this is making a head over heart decision okay so you have the ten of cups and you have the sun leo energy is here with the sun This looks really good. It looks very, very happy here with the Sun and the Ten of Cups. But what is up with this, with the Eight of Swords? There's something about this family, this energy that feels really good. But it feels to me like you... You're questioning it. It's almost like tough love here. Like I love you, but I've got to I've got to let you go. Or I've got to move you to the side. I can't stand here beside you. The next card you have is the seven of the the seven of wands. And so whatever this, this family or this home, whatever this energy is that brings you happiness, it's tied up with a lot of overthinking and not being able to feel free. Because I feel like there's someone here in your energy, Taurus, that they make you feel defensive. Um, I keep wanting to look at the Queen of Swords. It's like as if there's a situation here that you don't have any control over. It brings you happiness. It brings you the sun. But it's pushing you to your limits with the Seven of Wands. Tell me why the Seven of Wands is here. Yeah, see, do you see all of the hands pointing at you, all of the hands on the ends of these wands? There's something here that isn't right. Something inside of this home or this family, it's just not right in the outside world. Um, looking looking at the perspective of the outside world, you're feeling very defensive. But inside of this world, you feel happy, but there's something here that you cannot fix. 
and it's either a home or a family or a marriage it's some place that you celebrate some place that you feel happy but something inside of it is seriously messed up with the four of cups like i just can't deal with this and then you have the king of pentacles and the ten of wands this is too heavy for me to carry around anymore it could even be heavy um financially with the king of pentacles here it's causing you to have to do a lot of work and a lot of overthinking because you want to be able to fix this problem yourself and just let everyone be happy let everyone you know feel the sunny days and the warmth and the happiness but it's really something where you feel like your hands are tied and you feel blindfolded as to how a solution as to how to fix this problem okay and i feel like you're just not getting the help like whoever's here with you they're not helping you when if you talk to them you just end up feeling defensive the next card you have is the queen of wands Taurus. so there's someone else that's showing up here in your life right here um your queen of wands energy regardless of your gender you're looking very very beautiful very smart very confident uh you know like you got it all together um someone is very very attracted to you okay and they're they're showing up right here with the knight of cups Let's look at you. This person, there may be an age difference with the Knight of Wands on the bottom of the deck and the Queen of Wands. You're matching their energy as far as you like this person too. Tell me why the Queen of Wands is here. But I feel like whatever this energy is inside of this home or this family, um, this other outside energy, it's not allowed in behind the walls, behind the door. Tell me why the Queen of Wands is here. You have the Five of Cups, the Moon, and the Page of Pentacles. Oh, and the Devil, of course. Capricorn energy. Yeah, you feel at a loss. At something, someone here, I feel like this is a someone for most of you guys. It's, it's something that has been in your life for years, okay? And you're feeling sadness. You're feeling at a loss. Um, you're in your emotions. The moon is here, Pisces Cancer energy. You're in your emotions. And this energy here, it gives you very little. Whatever this is that makes you so happy over here at times, where you just want to fix some type of a problem for somebody, the devil is here you can't you just can't they have to fix this problem themselves and so i'm seeing here that that you're getting ready to if you haven't yet cut that final cord off of something a place in your life here where you feel stuck and you're you're you know i mean it's so strange to me because it shows up as your happiness your heart here this could be a child with the page of pentacles showing up like an older child tell me why the sun and the ten of cups is here three of wands see you've put the energy out you've put the work into this situation to make everyone happy this is a home or a marriage or a family the ten of pentacles is here you put the work in you've tried to make this a happy place for you i see that i see the work that you've done but it's coming in as it's like this is only coming from you and you're enabling somebody and it's becoming very difficult on you 
So as I look into the future energy, there's another person here with the with the Knight of Cups and they're kind of coming up behind you. You can actually see it in the tarot. You can see someone coming up behind you in the future energy behind this shield, behind the walls um, of where you hide. I feel like you're a hermit, it's like you're hidden behind the walls of something. And there's someone here that's coming up behind you. Tell me why the Knight of Cups is here. Tell me about this person. Actually, spirits want me to grab another deck as we move into the future. Yeah, see, there's this energy of just feeling like there's nothing I can do to fix this anymore. I've tried. I can be there for you, but not in there with you. I can be there for you, but not in there with you. Tell me why the Knight of Cups is here, spirits. The Chariot, Cancer Energy, the Three of Wands, and the King of Pentacles. There's someone here that wants to be with you, and they want to be with you for the long run. And this is someone that some of you guys already know, where... Um, there has been an energy here where you need to plan together to get things together, together to get things lined up with the chariot. The sphinxes are facing different directions here. So you need to be able to line up these sphinxes so that you can move this chariot forward. And um, this king of pentacles, this person wants to be in your life for the long for the long run they could even be at a distance from you with the three of wands but they're coming up behind you and the movement here is very fast here in the future um they want to make plans with you but there's something about this energy here with the devil this other doorway that is only partially open. You can see the light on the other side. It's only partially open. Um, you can't, you're not telling this other person all about what is happening behind that door that they cannot look through. And so you could be wondering, um, how this is going to work. Let's look at the Seven of Swords. Let's see why you're doing this. Because you're, you're not disclosing everything. The Four of Wands is here. And the Tower. And the Lovers. Gemini Energy. <coughs> There's two people here. Could be two lovers, two romantic partners, um, but there's definitely something that is not being said. That is something that is not being hidden. That is being hidden by you, Taurus. That it's it's something that is going to blow up here with the tower. It's going to be exposed inside of those walls. You may be seeing 1111, the Four of Wands is here. This is a marriage. This is a safe place. This is home. And then we have the Chariot again here for your energy. So we have the Chariot for this person coming into the future, coming into, you know, into your life saying, hey, you need to make a choice. Okay, and now you're moving ahead very quickly, just like they are here in the future. You're matching their energy. And so let's see which way you're going to go here with your chariot. Tell me why the chariot is here. There's third party. 
for some of you this is romantic for others of you this is just a third party a family member someone that you love um where there's a division here because you're going to be going in a different direction with the chariot and then you have the six of wands there's an ending death is here scorpio energy there's an ending to being someone's hero with the six of wands there's just an ending to that or being the hero here and there's someone new that is showing up here in your energy with the ace of cups or someone who's already been here but this is a whole new way that they're going to be in your life now so let's look at the six of cups because this is the you know the past energy what is showing up right here it's current but it's something that's very heavy very difficult tell me why the six of cups is here see you feel sad about you know this argument this fight there's sadness here there's something here that i feel like you really wanted it to work out but see again look at that ten of pentacles this is either a marriage or something involving a family or a home something that you were giving to and it's just it's become toxic it's it's a fight that you cannot win and so I'm hearing there's someone here that doesn't want help. Like someone needs help. They don't want help. And it makes you feel very sad that there's nothing here that you can do to help whoever this person is. Because the love in your heart is still there. Spirits, why is death here? Why is this ending? See, look at the friggin' cards tarot taurus look at the cards why is death here something's toxic and you know it's toxic and it's coming to an end the king of wands the page of swords and the ace of wands there's someone someone new coming into your life just when this situation ends or um this is someone where there's going to be where you allow this person finally into your life in the right and correct way and let go of whatever here is toxic so spirits why is the devil here and look at as i split the deck the devil and the hermit are there the devil is capricorn energy the hermit is virgo there's an energy here where you've kept quiet you've kept your mouth shut about something that was toxic it's like as if you're protecting somebody from the outside world and now there's no way that you can do this any longer. It's too difficult here. <coughs> we still have the Hermit and we have the Nine of Pentacles. Your, now your inner voice is telling you, I need to think for myself. You're putting yourself first after a very long time of putting this devil energy first. Putting someone else first. You're going on your own journey now. What does Taurus need to know about this devil energy as they walk out of it? You have the five of wands. Things are changing, okay? And with this change, the five of wands is there's some red tape that is going to be here. Maybe some arguments some loose ends needing to be tied up and the world but this chapter 
of this walk with the devil, you're releasing it. Your justice is here, finally free. This is Libra energy. All right, Taurus, let's get your immunology cards for advice. What does Taurus need to know? That is weird. I have like a dry leaf on the card. Okay. What does Taurus need to know, spirits? Okay, so you have take a breather and this is last quarter moon in cancer and on the bottom of the deck you have work through your feelings and this is the last quarter moon in aries and then the the last card on the bottom of the deck is full moon in cancer let your fears dissolve okay and this is this crab or this lobster on this card is uh, these claws are normally over its face it's like this thing is hiding inside of its shell and here you are bringing your head out of the shell and facing the moon and it is a full moon tonight and walking into the unknown and spirits are telling you to let your fears dissolve and to cool your emotions. Full moon in Aries. Taurus, I love you guys. Thank you for being here with me. And take care of you today, Taurus. And we will meet back here again tomorrow. Namaste.